Calling and crossing could soon be a combination that could leave you with a very hefty fine to pay at the end of the day. A Liberal MPP is proposing to make using your cell phone and crossing the street illegal here in Ontario, introducing a private member's bill at Queen's Park today. Experts tell us that when you're distracted while crossing the road, your chances of getting hurt or killed are much greater. And so this is really all about public safety. I want to make sure we raise awareness for pedestrians to know the risks of crossing the road while distracted. And ultimately, if we do this, hopefully we can save lives. Good morning, everyone. Thanks very much for being here. My the name Phones is Down Heads, Heads Up Act was tabled by Yvonne Baker, who says his constituents initially raised concerns to him about distracted walking. Baker cites a 2015 Toronto Public Health report that says 13% of pedestrians involved in crashes were distracted at the time of the collision. Honolulu made headlines just last week for passing a similar zombie law. If the law is passed here, pedestrians could face fines starting at $50 for the first offense, $75 for the second, and $125 for every subsequent offense. As long as you're crossing with a light, I don't think that it should be legal. Honestly, I think it would be kind of useful. Especially in this high pedestrian and intense traffic zones, you should be like paying attention to cyclists and other motorists using the road or people using the road. Pedestrians won't get a ticket if they're using their phone to call emergency services or if they're continuing a call they already started while on the sidewalk. Critics are pointing out that the vast majority of collisions involve inattentive drivers, not distracted pedestrians, saying the bill is focusing on the wrong target. 2016 was the most dangerous year ever to be a pedestrian on the streets of Toronto, and it was not because of pedestrians using cell phones, it was because of pedestrians using the roads. People who are seniors, 67 plus, are the most vulnerable group. They're not the ones that are using cell phones and walking across streets. If it's passed, there will be a clause in the legislation that would allow municipalities to opt out of the law. The private member's bill is set to be debated sometime before the spring. At St. George and Blue or Tammy Sutherland, City News.